lots of times, as with combat or any other type of mission, we honestly hope we don't get called. But when we do get called, we're ready. Vermont soldiers ready to defend the nation's capital. We're here to serve our nation's call. If the nation needs us to stand up and be a bit more prepared this year than others, then that's what we're trained for and that's what we're ready to do. This Vermont National Guard commander is one of more than 100 soldiers heading down to Washington, D.C. on Sunday morning to assist the D.C. National Guard during President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration on Wednesday. Roughly 26,000 troops from all 50 states will be there to support and defend American democracy. And this will be a, a, a overwhelming show of force that allows us to ensure the peace and the peaceful transition of power, which our country is known for. The Guard says soldiers routinely go through domestic operations training and are well prepared to fulfill the duties of this mission. Uh, we're also uniquely trained for uh, area security missions, which is a lot like what we're being asked to do in D.C. So this is not out of the wheelhouse for the squadron. This is something these soldiers train for all the time and will adapt to very quickly. Colonel Bray Hopkins says the preparation for foreign and domestic missions is similar, but the mindset is different. Let's be honest. When we go down to Washington, D.C., uh, the individuals that we will be securing and protecting and uh, preventing harm and damage from being done, they're all U.S. citizens by and large. Um, so it is a, that, that's the, the major difference. Um, and that requires a completely different mindset for our soldiers when they go into that environment. The soldiers will depart for Washington, D.C. early Sunday morning. At Camp Johnson, Aaron Brown, Channel 3 News.